Pereira and Lissa Johnson. They are the co-chairs of the 14th show house, the Junior League show house, and we're here to talk to them, and this is a gorgeous spot. Tell me a little bit about what you're doing with the show house. Sure. Um, this is actually, uh, as you mentioned, our four, 14th uh, Junior League of Harvard Decorator show house. And uh, what the Junior League does is it goes out into the surrounding Harvard community and looks for a beautiful property to showcase. And uh, once we are able to find that property, we look for local designers um, and regional designers to come in and select spaces and design these rooms. We uh, allow people to tour those rooms, and then any proceeds from the event actually benefit the Junior League of Hartford. Talk a little bit about the theme that's binding all the designers here today. Sure. Uh, the Junior League of Hartford uh, selects a focus area about every four years or so, and right now our current focus area is, is um, empowering women and young girls to overcome obstacles. So as we approached the show house this year and, and discussed the show house with the designers, we really asked them to take that theme to heart in their design. What we're most proud of is the, the elevated design in the house this year, the cohesiveness um, and the thought that all the designers put in to stick with the theme that we gave them and also to design at a really, really high level. Talk to me about this beautiful, beautiful, colorful room. Well, the color is most important to me, but really it was the message. It wasn't really about the design of the room. It was a message about empowering young women. You have to be you and be brave and be scared to do something, but just do it. Jump off that cliff. Be yourself, be brave, and have fun. 80s pop culture is totally where I grew up, and I loved being a little bit wild, and it's about dreaming my messages in it. So I wanted it to be big and bold. Um, you have some sexy words up there. Yes. Well, again, sexy is not about me. It's about the feeling of the space. I think a space should be sexy. I feel like you should be intrigued to walk into it and just have a lot of fun. You have the lamp that you first come in, the light fixture. Mm -hmm. It's really low. Why yeah. so low? Well, when I came into the space, I really wanted it to be very inviting and soothing and want you to enter and have a conversation, sit down and feel like entranced in the room. A big, tall, chandelier in the ceiling is not going to do that so i'm in warming the space inviting you in being in the show house was not my first choice because it was maddening to think i had to come up with a creative idea a design idea that would reflect their opportunity what they were giving me and then challenge me but then also only have a couple of weeks to pull it together so it was wicked exciting to hang out with all the other designer friends i think i made a million friends and I love being here to show what I can do and not be troubled by worrying a client about deadlines. So I had to just worry myself. I just want people to be brave. I want them to feel like they can express themselves. This is not a picture that I was thinking would be on a magazine cover for an interior design. It was about women being able to go out and feel passionate about who they are, take chances, risk, be scared to do something every day, wake up and actually enjoy life and have fun. Don't take life so seriously. Live. Looking around this room, and it has a very sort of hippie feel, uh, hippie exactly. 60s. So tell me, how did you come there? Well, my partners and I are all kind of hippies at heart. We're beach girls. We love the beach. We love everything that goes with it. So this room is full of our little homage to California beach hippies. There's macrame, there's gauze, there's a bed made out of pallets and pipes, and it's all very free and easy. We made or dealt with everything in this room. We didn't bring any other workers in. Um, my partner, Jen, actually made the bed out of pallets and pipes. We put it together here in the room. I did some of the art. My aunt did this lovely swan painting. My friend did the painting of the point up there. I did these paintings. Um, I used this as an opportunity to get back into my art. I majored in art in college and kind of gotten away from it, but um, I tried to bring it back with this room. So our business is really always all about empowering women because we are, you know, women-owned business and we do everything for ourselves. I'm now in the upper entranceway and I'm standing here talking to Kathy Hayes from Inside Story. Kathy, talk to me a little bit about what Inside Story is all about. 
Well, the Inside Story is a decorating firm that's 18 years old now um, that I specialize in color. And my love for art, which is, I really love art, uh, led me to start this new company, Inside Story Gallery, two years ago. Um, and it is, I have a website, there are images on the web, but that's really just the beginning. It's a way to get art, to help people work with art in their homes and to feel confident about what they're buying and know that they're truly in love with it and also then work it into the design of their home. Tell us about the artists that you have displayed. I have two prominent local artists. One is John Lopresti, who is from Weathersfield and works primarily in oils, but he's also done pastels. And then over here is John Ford, um, who recently died, um, but who does phenomenal, beautiful oils. And then I have some local artists who are just beginning their careers. This is Jane Shaskin, who does collage. This is Gretchen Wolgamuth, who is not beginning her career, but is works in a small format, does mixed media. I've done a number of show houses over the years. It exposed exposes people to my work and to the artists now, which is exciting to me. There are very few art galleries around anymore, and so this is a way for people to connect with art. It's a great way to bring design ideas to people, but also open that window a little into thinking about something new that they might not have considered because it's maybe a little unusual. We're in the master bathroom. Tell me a little bit about your work here. Well, my focal point being this beautiful view of Wood Pond, and I try to embrace that and make that the focal point, but also then the color of the window treatment brings the color of the walls, which I call persimmon. And the window treatment just is to frame this wonderful view. Now, there's also a theme here of empowering women. How does that display itself? I feel strongly about empowering women, and that's why I'm a member of the Junior League. When you come into the room, there is a statue, and it's called Garden Grace, and it's a lovely woman, and the point is, again, garden, and, and she's graceful. <laughs> Tell me a little bit about this space. Well, it was very busy as you first walked in. It had a, a, a yellow vine wallpaper that just was attacking you, and a vanity that went to the floor. The sconces were very close together, right above the sink, and they just weren't using the space, and it felt very uh, claustrophobic as you moved in. So my vision was to really open it up and have it be inviting and peaceful and a real tranquil setting. Well, I think one of the exciting things about this room is when I first came in, these sconces are original, and they really got lost in the, uh, in the wallpaper and all the busyness and stuff, and so they're very charming. Well, the wallpaper is really coming back, um, and this is uh, by Tebow. It's a faux snake skin, um, and it just gives texture and movement to the wall, and the light color sort of opened it up and made it feel a little wider. The sink, well, the vanity in itself um, had gone to the floor, and so I decided to, again, open up the space, um, raised it off the floor, and built this new vanity with a nice little curve to it, uh, which, again, sort of invites you into the space, and added the texture. So you have the snakeskin on the wall, you have the marble on the um, lower part of the vanity, and then granite on the top. And what about the theme, the empowering women theme? How does that fit into this space? Well, um, it's, it's relating to the vanity of, you know, picking yourself up off the floor sometimes when things get tough and just moving on forward and looking in the mirror and putting your best face forward and carrying on. Mm -hmm.